place many of us come from families where no one has been able to rise beyond a certain level is that true many of us have come from families ravaged by all kinds of demonic things yokes causes all sorts of things some of you are not even aware of the full extent of the evil that surrounds your life and the territory there your immunity is the word of god now the challenge with many believers is that the moment they get born again they just start going to church religiously just doing church as we know it religiosity and then they never pay attention to grow and for many reasons i think there are a number of reasons why people don't grow number one they think they are still young the first reason why people do not contend for passion to grow is because someone else is giving a harvest to a seed you are not sowing so because you always receive a harvest whether you are sowing or not it gives you a justification that there is still time lamentation chapter 3 and i think it's verse 27 it said it is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth this is my recommendation that you use time for your advantage many people do not contend for spiritual growth or growth in every area of their life because you see once people are growing up the responsibility of parenthood demands that you are there for your child while he's growing financially and otherwise and chances are that just because there's someone giving you money there's someone paying uh, you can you can make all kinds of mistakes and there are people shouldering it for you you may not have been exposed to see the full effect of not understanding or not having high level spiritual illumination can i tell you this is why many young men become utterly frustrated the moment they are left alone because they have been shielded for many years they don't know which result came from their faith and which one came from the covering on them so for many years the gentleman is not fasting he's not praying he's not studying the word of god he's not serious yet he's increasing financially yet doors are opening for him then the day you are now exposed and you have to stand by your own faith you will find out you are still a baby christian you were only leaning on the shoulder of parents i found out that the first reason people do not want to grow in life is because they have been covered and shielded from seeing the effect that lack of growth brings to their lives is god speaking to someone already yes why should i be faithful in keeping financial principles for instance for my increase and my lifting when i have maybe some pocket money coming when i have some money coming from some loved one whether i pray or not is coming so when we are teaching things about favor when we are teaching things about diligence chances are that that message will not really mean anything to you you just say amen when everybody is saying amen but somebody who knew where he came from hallelujah that person will easily receive can i tell you there is a measure of pain that is a blessing because pain sometimes has a way of creating passion don't be too quick to stop pain in people listen to me not just i'm not just talking of demonic oppression there is a pain factor that can wake people up in life the prodigal son it was pain that woke him up the bible says he came to himself not that the holy ghost spoke to him not that the spirit spoke to him pain can make men come to themselves study your bible no i will study one day and then one day the person who becomes your principal breadwinner now says from today i'm not helping you again two weeks of utter frustration by yourself you will look for a forest to pray by yourself you will create all the excuses it is raining it is too hot there is a pain factor that can go and close you somewhere that night without strings without keyboard you will do the praise and worship by yourself you will pray by yourself most people in our generation have been too pampered to become powerful too pampered to become powerful 
You are lazy spiritually. People give excuses. They say, you know the way these people are. The way life. You are so busy. And we continue to receive all kinds of justification. Discipline yourself and buy books. I won't buy books. My daddy said he will buy me books. You see that kind of thinking. So time is going. And the things you should have learned with the gift of time given to you. Time is passing. But the corresponding knowledge is not coming. Please listen to what I'm teaching you tonight. It's a very, very powerful teaching. It is good for a man that he bear his yoke in his youth. When there, and there are people, respectfully speaking, there are parents who when they are fasting, they tell the children, don't fast, you are too small. But demons don't say the children are too small to possess them. A little child of five years old can kill ten people before they deliver him. And you ask the child, who did you kill? He will start mentioning he had that level of skill. And yet to fast, even if he's 6 to 12, is a problem. What of morning devotion? Or night devotion, whichever one. Devotion, that's the most important thing. Many people, you are laughing, many people are not serious with God. Don't sit down and expect results from an investment you did not make spiritually. No, sir. God is a just God. There are people today, the only time they open their Bible is when they come to church. And now that we have electronic platforms like this, some don't even open it at all. Everything do it for me. Everything do it for me. So a sense of responsibility, zero. Spirituality, zero. Everything, zero. Can I tell you the truth? There is a requisite level of investment in knowledge. You will need to build capacity for the days that come. I have been warning people for a very long time. Jesus said, I will, have, I will walk the works of him that sent me while it is day. For the night cometh when no man will walk again. You don't have the time all the time. No. For instance, for instance, when if you are a young man who came from a family where there is a divide as to spirituality by the time you are on campus and you are in school that is an opportunity to build your life because ordinarily at home they may not allow you to pray that prayer now you keep wasting your time you have a social 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 center and all these things hundred level time is passing god is watching your destiny is also watching 200 level some of your colleagues who may never be allowed to pray do you know there are some of you if you were at home you will never be allowed to go to certain meetings you will not be allowed to carry out certain spiritual exercises god now brought you out of your family using the guise of school so that he can give you five years to build the capacity that your destiny needs but many people continue to waste their time and I tell you, the spirit of the waster is alive, especially in this our arrogant generation. Time is going. Now you are in 400 level, for instance. The only thing you know is what they taught you in class. Relationship zero. You have not, you have not had friends. You have not made friends, godly friends, that can become a ladder for your destiny. And the Holy Spirit keeps warning you. People invite you for strategic programs you don't care because in your mind I have an uncle in NMPC or an uncle in a shell he promised me that as soon as I finish I will get a job and then just when you are writing your final year he will relocate to Canada woe to him that puts his strength in a man Please pay attention. The Holy Spirit is speaking to you again. There are some of you, God disguised. He brought you to Zaria to come and stay maybe with a family to walk or to learn certain things. And you may be wondering, God, but why didn't you take me to Lagos and other places? God is saying, you are only here for three years. Use that three years well. This three years is the answer to the prayer that you've prayed. In one prayer and fasting and said, Lord, I want to have a great destiny. In these three years maximize the time there are people who encountered god in their spillover year 
it was in that frustration they were strolling around like madmen around their various campuses and the holy ghost landed upon them and they now said lord thank you that i have a few more weeks to stretch it out in destiny everybody say knowledge can i tell you my first assignment for you tonight is can you list the five people who are currently wasting your time and wasting your destiny right now i'm not saying write it list it in your mind five things the five top things that are wasting your time and wasting your destiny and not allowing you to access the kind of knowledge that you need for some of us it may be movies and media and social media for some of us it may be friends for some of us it may be laziness and carelessness oh i don't have money one day god led you to a fellowship where they shared free books five keys to building your faith you looked at the person who wrote it and said look at this guy there's nothing faith on him and you drop the book instead of you to open up your spirit and learn somebody who has four over ten you who has zero who is better so when i tell you this our generation is arrogant i know what i'm saying people who have no results but they are the ones who sit down vetting the performance of those who are at least doing something someone who is trying and praying for one hour you whose prayer life is under attack what gives you the credence to talk about that person's prayer life koinonia is quiet useless friends that waste your time don't allow you to spend time with god why should you feel sorry for saying sorry i cannot see you now i'm spending some time with god in prayer or i'm meditating or i'm just resting can i tell you this you must love your future more than your reputation if you love your reputation more than your future you are not going to get there i assure you it is better to be controversial and advanced than to sit down to try to please everybody and stagnate yourself forever. How about your passion for God? I'm yours, I'm yours. I'm yours forever. I'm yours, I'm yours. I'm yours. My life is yours, it's yours, it's yours forever, it's yours. I looked at the photo of a man that I used to know many years ago. I was, you know, just browsing the internet and he had become an old man today. Tears came out of my eyes, I said, Time is really passing on. I looked at my own picture. <laughs> not, <laughs> not another pe My own picture, Joshua Selman. I couldn't have believed I've grown this much. Go and look at your picture. And then you will never tell yourself I'm young again. You will give yourself the pressure if it is knowledge you need to get. If it's one week fasting you need to fast better do it now it will not kill you father i need knowledge high level spiritual illumination i came from a family where no one has risen i came from a family where the only scripture we know is john 3 16 i'm ready to upgrade myself that my destiny is calling me and this will be a period god is some of you are in a spiritual probation period right now I don't know if he was here or in Abuja I was teaching. Listen. Okay, I think it was a four square meeting or so. If you have two people, listen to me. Let's assume one person is 30 years or 40 years. And another gentleman is maybe 19 years or 20 years. The guy who is 20 years can afford to make all kinds of mistakes and do whatever he wants to do with his life. He can correct his, he can listen to a powerful sermon when he's 25 and adjust he's still in his morning stage you who is 35 or 40 
it's, that is not even the afternoon is, is the later part of afternoon are we together you cannot afford to be pursuing life at the same pace with that person please wake up i'm speaking to you by the spirit the greatest unbecoming of our generation is this fallacy of i am young pray i am young fast i am young go for the word i am young when he spoke to jeremiah jeremiah said i am but a child jeremiah 1 verse 5 he says say not that i am a child conquer that demon of trying to excuse all kinds of things saying there is time is someone learning now i've told you in my world an adult is not 18 years in my world an adult is anybody who has the intuitiveness to understand what i'm saying and has the stamina to be able to bear the consequence of action once you are that person you are an adult whether you believe it or not that's why when we give gifts to children here i tell you the age age one to ten everybody say knowledge you have to identify the time and destiny wasters in your life otherwise you are not going anywhere my precious people please listen to me i'm preaching to you from the depth of my heart if you cannot identify the people and the things that waste your time and waste your destiny there is no advancement for you time wasters do not be afraid of being controversial. Let them call you Mother Mary. Let them call you, you are whatever. No problem. This thing called future. Everybody will get there. It's like, it's like in a class. Nobody writes exam for another person. Except you are doing malpractice. And if they catch you, you're on your way out. So while you are preparing for the exam of your destiny, don't let someone act as if he's going to write the exam for you. By the time you have three, four, five children and you cannot feed them. By the time your spiritual life goes down. By the time demons attack your family and you don't have the spiritual stamina to bring deliverance to them. Nobody will come and do it for you. You need to begin to build that stamina now. Young lady, look at me. Are you building the stamina for your destiny? Or you are building hair, makeup. Th those things are not wrong. Don't get me wrong. But if that's all you are building, you are about to waste your destiny. Gentleman, are you building apps and IT and all of those things? Or you are settling down to build capacity? A day will come, your stamina will be tested no matter who you are. Listen to what I'm telling you. For as long as you are alive on earth, you can't pray it away. A day will come, your stamina will be tested. Your spiritual stamina your financial stamina your mental stamina it will be on the strength of the knowledge that you have that's what will give you stability i'm tired of the status quo there's gotta be more than this there's gotta be more gotta be more there's gotta be more than this for desperate people do desperate things and we press in there's gotta be more gotta be more there's gotta be more than this